What's up, what's up, leaders? Scott Matthew here, author of Watch My Results, Three Steps for Students to Become the Leaders They Were Meant to Be. And this is chapter three. Chapter three of Watch My Results is called Success Love Speed. So we're still in the mindset section, um, different mindsets that you need to have to help shift your results, help shift your action, and help you be able to nix your limits. All right, so let's get into it. Along with football, I played basketball in high school. My high school basketball coach, like most coaches, was all about using conditioning to help us get better. My coach loved to make us run ladders. I've heard others call these suicides, but if you're unfamiliar, a ladder is when you start on the baseline under the basket and you work your way to the other side of the court, stopping and turning at different points along the way. If you want, I'm sure there's a good YouTube video or something, but the point is, they're not fun. Here's what my coach did to make things a little more difficult. To start, he would time our team sprinting from one baseline to the other. That didn't sound too bad, so we'd run hard. Coach reported to us that we ran the length of the court in five seconds. Turns out, a ladder adds up to five lengths of the court. So my coach, using his logic, said if we could run one length of the court in five seconds, then we should be able to run five lengths of the court in 25 seconds. Yeah, I know. We would kindly point out that we have to stop and turn around a bunch of times and that you get tired running that hard for that long. Coach always had faith though, so he would just tell us we were going to give it a try and and tell us to line up. He even added that we shouldn't worry because if we didn't get it, we could always try again. At this point, we were all sufficiently jacked up on adrenaline that most of us made it in the 25 seconds. Coach told us good job and then he wanted to see if we could do it again. Nobody made it the next time. We knew we were in trouble. After a few more tries, we all became more and more frustrated that we couldn't get it. It dawned on me that I had to switch up the way I was running if I wanted to make it. I realized that all of us would start running the ladder slow and then give it all, give it our all at the end, trying to make it in however much time was left after the last turn. The old saying came to mind, do what you've always done and get what you've always gotten. So I decided to switch things up. Instead of waiting until the end to go hard, I decided to start, start that way. The next time we ran a ladder, I sprinted off the first line, made the turn, sprinted again, made the turn, sprinted again, and all of a sudden I was leading the team. Actually, I wasn't just leading, I was dominating. I finished before most of the team had even finished their last turn. That was when it clicked. My high school basketball team thrived on this principle. We would start each game fast with a mean half-court press and fast-paced offense. After halftime, we would come out just as hard and fast and would easily take over the game and get big leads on many teams that made it hard for them to come back. This strategy helped me on the college football team too. We ran what we called four quarters. As a squad of linebackers, it was similar to a ladder, but going from sideline to sideline, stopping at different points like the hash marks. Even though I wasn't the fastest or most athletic of the group, I consistently beat everyone else in these drills, easily. Fast forward through the season and I was consistently beating the rest of the team when we would run these four quarters. At one point, our team was having a rough practice, so coach decided to have us run. However, the time this time he said there was a new rule. He said, this time we will all keep going until one of you beats Scott. Coach told me directly that they would know if I was letting up because they had been timing how fast I could run it. Great, how convenient. <laughs> now I'm the bad guy. After many, successful try, un- after many unsuccessful tries, I was definitely the bad guy. As college football players do when they are frustrated, I got called many not so nice names. I challenged my teammates to think differently though. To me, it didn't make sense why they kept running it the same way, trying to catch me at the end. Here's the lesson from the entire story. Success loves speed. The next time we ran the drill, a player that should have been beating me all along finally did. He got it. The faster you start, the faster you will get to the finish. Yes, you'll have to adjust along the way, but the point for you to understand as a student right now is that you must start. Start hard, start fast, stop holding back. You wouldn't be listening to this or watching this if you didn't feel like you can accomplish incredible things in your life. I know you can too, but you aren't going to get there until you start. Stop waiting for your until. Students tell me way too often that they're waiting until they graduate, until they get hired, until they get into college. None of them are good enough excuses. Stop waiting until and just start working for real. This isn't just a sports principle either. This is how I got my start in my career. After football, I received a position on a student leadership team at the college I attended. I recognized that there were some great opportunities for leadership and career development, and so I went all in. I tried to be the best I could be. I tried to be the ideal team player and the best leader I could be and quickly saw the results follow. I started seeing my GPA go up, my habits improve. 
Yes, I was busier, but I was way better at time management and communicating with classmates, coworkers, and professors. I was put in situations where I met professionals, which forced me to become more professional and be able to network. I learned how to be a leader on a team through example and conflict mediation. I started becoming the professional I wanted to be tomorrow, but it was all happening today. This opened door after door for me. One semester in and I had the opportunity for a promotion. After that semester, I got my first full-time job. I'll explain more on what made that happen in later chapters, but I would not have gotten that job at 21 years old if I had not started fast in my first student leadership position. I use this same strategy in everything I do now. I start as fast as I can and let the momentum push me onward and upward. Have fun, make memories, but today, take today seriously. The person you act like now is the person who you will become. So do you take your classes seriously? Do you not take yourself too seriously? Do you make good relationships with people? Are you kind? Do you work hard? Think about answering those questions and whatever might be important to you in your future. Whatever type of mom, brother, boss, employee, or whatever you wanna be, start being it today. That is where the difference will be. Stop saying until, start being the person now. Sure, you might not have the exact day-to-day responsibilities as you will then, but you can still have the same attitude, characteristics, and habits as that person you want to be. Success loves speed. Whatever that goal is, start working on it now. Don't be scared of messing up. You will. Don't be scared that it is hard. It is. <laughs> Stop being scared of what people will say. They'll talk, they'll talk anyway. Remember that people who talk behind your back are behind you for a reason. Start preparing to get that big job right now. Be the person you want to become tomorrow right now. Success loves speed. Start. And so that that whole principle has just been game changing for me. I'm just like, just start being it now. Like you want to be different? Be different. Like you want to be better? Be better. Oh, I wish I was a better student. Be a better student. Like, oh, I wish I could just jump into my career. Start acting like it, you know, just like start changing small things that you can do. Start dressing a little bit better. Put yourself together a little bit more because you, you say to yourself, that's how I'm going to be when I'm in my career. You can start doing that now. You don't have to have a job title to just start like getting ready every day. (laughs) Uh, You can be organized. You can be a, a good communicator, a good networker. All of those things can happen right now. You just have to start. So go get started. That's chapter three. I want to hear what your what your takeaways are. Drop them below in the comments. Give this video a like. I and please, yeah, let me know your takeaways because I'm here to help and I want you to to keep getting those results. So I will see you on the next chapter.